Welcome back, guys, to the finale of Fire Emblem, as behind this door stands the fateful battle with the god Duma. Mila, having already passed on from this world, has given us the Falchion and revived Selica, ready to fight. Hopefully, we'll all be fine as we move on, but before we do, there is one more thing that we should do. And that... It's kind of power up some people a little bit more. Maybe a little bit. Just a bit. And what I mean by that is that we have items that are not used. Let's get using them. Thank you, Professor PJ, for the resub. Or the big sub. For the 999. Four months in a row. Cheers. Let's get going. I've got that. i got that voice going now. The... Oh, it's near the end. Can I survive? But we've got all these stat-ups here. So it's time to kind of like divvy them out a little bit. So defense and HP, I've been wondering if I should give to uh, a certain young lady. Delphia. What do you reckon? Her HP always seems a bit low. Some extra defense would probably do quite well for her. Because she's not going to get doubled by anyone. So it's just like taking the one hit. Been eating an ambrosia here. Yum! These are the best! Would cure her fatigue too. Defense increased by two. I didn't think about fatigue before we started. Hmm. We've got luck drink here. We have speed drinks and more. But I'm thinking of giving her the HP as well. Yum! These are the best! She gets to eat all the fanciest food before we go to battle. I'm thinking of giving Arm a little bit more speed. Just so he can definitively double. He's got a minus one to speed, but 25 speed should probably get there for him. That was delicious. Mmm, cheese. Pegasi cheese. Cheese makes me slower, not faster. Trust me on that. So we got some attack, some skills, some speed, and some luck still to divvy. Luck-wise... Luck is the, uh... Anti-crit, isn't it? That was a of enemy criticals. So we should probably go on someone with not too much luck. To be honest... Uh, well, we don't want Tatiana getting hit full stop, so we just defend her like crazy. If anyone, then, it's either Lucas, because of his res abilities, or Arm, um, just to keep him a little bit safer. Do you know what? Drink it, Arm. Um. Uh, I don't know about this. Well, you don't like the luck, luck drink? Sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. Skill, of course, increases your hit chance and the whatnot. So I think it's probably best on you. Simply scrumptious. Ooh, diddly dumptious. It feels like, for the most part, we're actually uh, just buffing up our favourite characters, aren't we, a little bit? Alright, attack and more speed. Well, I'm wondering if I should add some speed to Matilda. Of course, you got knocked down a fair tier on speed, so you're down to 22 due to the Gradivus. But that said... You are fairly strong. Oh, a personal favorite. Is, is it now? Right, so if we give that to you to give you the extra speed with the Doomer's Lance, so you've got the high critical, do we give it some more attack, or do we move it on to someone else? You're satisfied now. Thank you for the cheer. Or as a client, it didn't seem like the sub new sub emotes did not appear. Sadness times. Right, so one last thing, which is attack. Do I boost Python to try and get him to do some more with his double arrowy kind of ability? It's probably not a bad idea, so I'll let you have it. Wait, we're drinking the Soma? What is Soma? Mystical plant extract. What do we go with someone like maybe Cliff? Because his attack has been fairly low. <laughs> or do we just let Arm? Let it all hang out? Again, her attack's fairly low. But then she's got plus 12 because of Gradivus. Do you know what? It might even be better to go on you. For the purpose wow. of this battle. This is really terrible. Buffing favorites, isn't that what you do? Well, I kind of guess it is. Well, that said, did he say that tasted terrible? We have everyone given some lovely foods. We are ready to go. As of course, standing ready for a week. Let's be ready for anything. Miss Selica. Are you ready for the final battle? Let's see how long this takes me as we step in 
to the altar of Duma. Let's go. Rudolph's worthless spawn! You're both disgusting heretics! How dare you wish harm on Duma! Open your eyes, Jetta. No matter how it pains you, you must see the truth! Duma's gone mad. He brings only suffering to his people now. This is the Divine Dragon's fate! Silence, girl! You know nothing of what you speak! And if suffering is the God's will, what of it? Without their strength and its foundation, Valentia cannot sustain life. No, you're wrong. It's time for us all to stand on our own feet, to live as free men and women. Foolish boy, you truly believe such heresy to be possible? It is possible. We've come all this way to prove it. Presumptuous human child. Go on then, prove me wrong. Show me the strength to stand alone. Show me the true limits of man. I will, by attacking you in the face. Maybe. Well, we've got a super high rating, so what's up with that? Hello. Cerberus Niberius. These are special guys. Hades? Well, very friendly looking fellows they may be. Oh, hello! A billion of these terror things. And an army that we have not seen in a long time. Is this our top ten that we're in the tower? I think it probably is, you know. Right, Valbar, you've, um... Yeah, you're not very good anymore. Sorry about that. How do we go forward from here? Well, we don't want Leon at the front line. They got an attack of 18. Our Valbar can still tank them, at least. We have two uh, army forces. Can we switch sides with some units? Oh, we can literally mix and match the forces, too. That's kind of handy. Right. That said as well, because the battle actually hasn't started yet. I can do something else with this, can't I? Oh, and you can still see the others, so if you wanted to switch them in, you could, maybe? Well, that's Moisten's stats. We never checked them out to begin with, but he's not that bad. He's very armor-based. Okay, where to go from here? To be honest, these guys probably are my strongest. Silk's the only one that's been out there. Do I maybe want her in the battle for warp? That's something I'd question. I'm slightly wondering how useful Valbar will be. I could switch him with one of the other guys and get Silk in here as well. Oh no, can I? Am I not allowed to swap them out? Oh, I bet that wouldn't happen. Alright, let's figure out what we're doing. The other thing I'm wondering is because we now have Selica's convoy, we actually now have more stuff again. So we can actually give out some more beautiful things and we can give them to anyone so how do we go with this mage just does not have enough speed does she that majoring on cliff would probably be better 
weirdly enough. Well, to be honest, that majoring on Celica. She has beloved Sophia. But attacking from full range with her with spells would probably be cool. Let's put it that way. Alright, so what else we got here? Summer, never granite. Pegasus cheese times two so we can boost some unit speed. Should we look to power up Celica a little bit more? Who should I give these golden apples to get them some boosts? I'm wondering if we give it to someone like someone like Tatiana, weirdly enough. Or Genny, in case she gets some new abilities. Leon's there, ready and waiting. Ah, oh, too much choices now. Way too many choices. Right, first two to give the experience to. God, my second army were quite good, apart from Valbar. <laughs> Valbar sucks. Can I swap out Valbar? That would be great. Just switching him to Silk would be amazing. Oh my goodness, I can. Oh my goodness, I can. Right. That adds even more healing to us. I will take that. Right, in terms of levelling people up. Man, I don't really think Lucas really needs too much more. In fact, I'm going to give them to you. Just in case you unlock some really cool skills. Very tasty. I look a bit tougher, wouldn't you say? I made the correct choice. It just seemed like you would obviously learn more skills. If I just gave the healers some stuff? I mean, who knows what Faye might learn? Leveling up a bit more. Or even Cliff. There must be more spells on his list. Cliff's been turned into somewhat of a healer of late. What about our beautiful Genny? Ooh, can I really have this? I feel calmer. They're all gaining speed. Can... Nope, Genny didn't gain anything. But you never know, she might level up more. Alright, we got a defense, a luck, two speeds, a skill and an attack. And some HP too. In terms of HP... Let's keep buffing up Delphia. In terms of speed, we know which ones are our assassin units in some senses. Uh, let's get Celica up a bit because, to be honest, she is lacking. That was delicious. I feel it's worth putting these out that was there. Delicious. And it's probably worth leveling her up most of all. Wonderful, my favorite. She's got a fair bit of luck. Do you know what? Let's get some luck to arm. He doesn't like that, does he? Alright, we got attack and defense. To be honest, your defense. To be honest, both could be better. Wonderful. My favorite. We're just gonna buff her. That was delicious. She's at a lot. Alright then, so that's the first order of things done. I know we got the setup before the actual battle. This week is the battle preparation. Next week is the actual battle, yeah. Alright, it's silk now goes over. Is what I'd say. I don't know, actually. It's, no, if Silk stays here, just goes to the back. We want, we want a heavily armored troop. If I switch Sonya, for one of these two, 
Let's switch to Forsyth. So Forsyth's ready to tank hits from people who aren't going to do too much damage to him, hopefully. We got Jeddah here with the Animus Ring. A ring that uses hate to raise the range of tones. How much hate does he have? Not much. But maybe he'll get more hate. Unless it does something here on the, all these lists. Oh, that's new. Let's one counter regardless of the attacker's distance. Oh, so we can't outrange him anymore. Nice. And he's still got Duma's gift, so we need to figure out how to break that. Maybe with Falchion? Alright, in terms of warring party members... ...that can deal with all of this incoming ridiculousness... ...anyone who's 22 speed or above is going to be having a nice fun time. Obviously, we lacked a bit of speed across the party. A lot of people can get doubled. Remember, these guys don't have the the amazing range that you'd expect others do. So we can abuse that. We keep our healers in the back. They could even do some invokes. We've got two healers each side, like two dedicated healers, plus the extras. 22 plus 8. With 23 speed. Arm would be best to take one of those guys on. The problem is this guy. Is what I'd be saying. I think we're pretty much ready to start. We divvied out some stuff. We have brave swords aplenty. And we have a more balanced army now that we've got these guys in a lot. We switched over Forsyth. Let's let him go to work. Fight. Don't forget to equip Fauci on. I could do it mid battle. I'd rather keep double line for now. Double line, good. It finally begins. There was two perfectly good eye sockets. I know it's only one eye, but there were two perfectly good ones. Alright, Mr. Gold Knight is worried, man, to be honest. 25-8. No luck to prevent criticals, but he has a fair bit of skill. He has a silver lance. He does. 33 damage. So there's 12 per hit to Lucas. Critical will be 36. He could die. It's just the way things work, I guess. If that guy reaches there, and that guy reaches there, what we should probably do is set up arm All right, let's go. to take on that first. Arm can double him. So it works out. To be honest, arm to attack both of them would probably be best, but if we take care of those three there and then move, we'll be a lot better off. You didn't have to swap or anything like that, do you? This world belongs to Alm. To all of us. There's plenty of room for hope in it. But there's no room in it for you. This room belongs to Arm, you know? Which is why we're rescuing Arm. Alright, Arm, you're taking that one. A battle between. 
between God and mortal sounds exhilarating to me. Seems that Arm didn't want to say anything. So that'll be like the first, and then we basically turn on and destroy them. Uh, in the meantime. This business of relying on gods and so forth all seems quite absurd to me. The creepy man will excuse himself now. I can't. I've got a stream. Alright. We could set off to actually have a certain young lady start to go to work Nothing on everyone. Will stop me. She can't be doubled. And she can really start doing some damage. And I'm quite okay with that. Aren't you? The more of them that are stuck close and moving, the less of them will try to divide. I think is how it works. Ugh, it's almost painful to watch. Just how hopelessly ignorant can someone be? I don't know. Barry? Essentially, you want to keep everyone else around there. You can invoke stuff now, can't you, Tatiana? That could be quite handy. Just having a force of, uh, friendly friends. no deference for one who would wield unjust power over his people. Such a despot is no god of mine. You can hardly hear them over that. So Tempest Lance has taken their HP damage. I don't think his rage... Oh, his, his ring is what... So, oh, we didn't even look up here. Hestia, didn't I kill you? Obviously not. So there's going to be witches summoned by the look of it. Uh, we've got this Garn bloke. He seems to be a fortifier with Medusa. Probably should pay attention to his attack range at all times. So you can cut our HP to 1, isn't it? We've got two bone knights here, Aurum and Argentum. Argentum. Oh yeah, we did beat Marla before. And they're both witch cantors. That sucks. The Bowman might move in any time, and there's Duma himself. Attack 32, defense of 20. His speed is low. So essentially, we need people like Delphia, etc., to do that. Oh, God. I just saw something that he has. Right, Ocular Beam. Fell Dragon Magic. Does an empty a 10. A weight of 8. So, of course, he's not going to double anyone. His hit range is too good, but his range is actually ridiculous. Lovely. He also has Oculus, Fell Dragon Magic that halts enemy movement. So he can stick you within his range if you move into it. He can summon. He also has tentacles. Whatever that's about. He has upheaval. A range of any. Lovely. And, uh. He's also a god. Just in case you were worried about things. <sighs> so we actually need to push past this and start trying to take out some people, but I need to kind of make sure the rear guard is safe as well. So what do you really want me to do about it? This is my world. And Zeke's as well. I won't allow you to endanger it. Well, if those witches are gonna be summoned. Then I choose to summon first. Hey, pretty good. It's all strength and power with you. If you're that desperate for a show of force, I'll be happy to oblige. She just summoned Pegasus Knights. They're crap, but they're something, and they can move a lot, so they can actually get into battle fairly easily. Thanks. My blue goons are evolved. Delphia can attack anyone that's about to come her way. Oh. I alone will decide who I choose to worship. But I can promise you one thing. It certainly won't be you. 
But for some reason it's Clive. Stay there. No need any power here. Now, fear you may as well kind of like chill with everyone, I guess. What do you have to say, Delphia? Come on! Who needs God when you're as strong as me? That's my girl. Yeah, thank you. This is where I randomly put her in range of the other guy. No. Right, so you're dealing with everything there. But we have to start from the back here, don't we? Doesn't exist as a play thing for dragons. Bad dragons. Is this is a plaything for me. Landing the first strike is a fine feeling indeed. You did. She did do the first strike. Oh no! Wait a second. You didn't. It was the second strike. But it's first from your knowledge. There's a wall in the way. Well, that's a good first level. Get that attack up with a, just the javelin. Just a javelin. Alright, you don't have the speed to nuke anyone to oblivion. Duma, O oh ancient benefactor. Consider this an act of mercy. A great god is deserving of a proud and glorious end. Okay, Conrad. Don't get too worked up. Okay, you're not going to be able to finish this. The... Your fetish for power is simply barbaric. Where's the joy? The love? Your perfect world is as dull as dirt. No, don't, no need to get judgmental. Proceed. Too bad I can't reach anyone. Selica cannot move very well into this. She doesn't get doubled by a lot of people, so we'll take that as a good thing. Just an Excalibur to kill. I'm not about to stop here. I must complete my mission. And that's why I like you. Well, hell. I've come this far. Might as well see the damn thing through to the end, lass. Time to kill them all, Saber. I know you... Oh, no, wait a second, you were grounded, haven't you? And you get the critical strike chance. Plus, when I move someone up... You didn't crit, though! That's another level. Maybe we get the speed. I didn't know there was a free DLC, so no, I have not used free DLC. Yours isn't the world I fought to protect. I'm taking every one of you down. Meanwhile, he's probably actually strong enough to do a grounder that kills. So we've got multiple people that can actually probably myself. finish off a unit at this point. So that's not bad. Case point. Leon! Princess! It's unfair how good I am. It is. I'm happy you're on my side. That starts an upward surge for you, sir. I still need to work out how everyone else is getting their kills in. You're gonna pay for what you did to Selica, buddy. You're gonna pay hard. May hates people. Mainly bad people. Woo! It's been a long time since we've played with me. Watch yeah. my back. I'll mow him down. Watch my back. I'll mow him down. You can't attack that guy. So technically, Atlas could go in and kill one. We could get some serious damage on the other guy, too. It's like I randomly hop Farewell. I randomly hopped over and joined your army. Why? Hope you don't mind. 
you used to have Valbar, but now you've got me. And Leon's looking over going, this new guy. This new man. I could do this all day. And the forces I have are perfectly capable of tearing through the original ranks here. Leave this to me. So that's great. Merciful Mila, I carry your will within me. I will see Duma freed from his suffering. The real worry is seeing whatever these ladies might end up summoning. And by the way, this is poison, yeah? The mother walks with me. Oh no, everyone's got rings, haven't they? And you've got that, so you get recover as well. So I don't actually need to place myself in healing range of you. I mean, I can do, because it's never bad to get more experience. Uh, much appreciated. Especially when you're one experience away. My hard work is beginning to show dividends. I don't mind some more defense. It's time to summon the goons. Oh, purest of the pure. G -g -g Genny. I'm ready to roll. She's Genny to roll. Could expel these guys. If I say we uh, bring forth the goons. Now we've got options for them to kill. You can't double me, I can't double you, but you can die. And this stops you from dividing. You forced my hand. You bore me. Especially because I might learn whatever ability is on this weapon at some point in time if I keep fighting. There's an ability on it, right? I'm nearly got the job done. Two percent crit chance. He could actually kill Lucas. More of them? Are you seven one two? Okay. Oh, these bowmen are going. Maybe it's not so good that they can actually make it a distance. Blue Pegasus goons! Well, the first flight of um, the Blue Pegasus goons did not go very well. I just realised... Oh no, the enemies aren't going to turn them. Alright, it's time to kill all these goons. I think Arm's going for Cerberus. What do you reckon? I think so. Alright. Damn. This is my strength. Pega goons! Alright then, well, we can easily end the lives of everyone remaining here, so that's good. From various methods. So now it's time to push towards this, but what we really need to worry about is these. Argentum and Aurum. Who maybe can actually work on the swamp. Maybe? No, they can. As long as we don't end up in the range of these guys, we're still looking pretty good. It's actually Aurum that's more dangerous. Just say the word. You can't reach him there? Maybe Tatiana should summon some more Pegagoons. 
Alright, so these guys have 15 defense. Which means you can kill them. Which is great. We should kill this one first. Do I want to use Delphia to do it, though? And we could go for a miraculous crit. Me. I hope this doesn't make me too muscular. Huh. I still have much to learn. Who said that? Did Delphia say that? Leave this to me. You know what I mean, that's a bit nuts. I think you should finish this guy for us. I'm in fine form of late. Defense is good. Now you've got the HP to back it up too. So now I can start forging this way at extreme speed. So that's great. If only your actual attacks didn't have such a low hit rate, mate. It'd be great, mate. It's fine because Cliff can heal you up after, I think. Attack Duma with Duma's Lance. Hey, it was you or me. Alright, so that's our attack range we're looking to stay out of. We can keep moving forward, no problem. Sam Kyle, then. Hey. Oh, thanks. To be honest, I should have sent Delphi a way forward. Well, you just looked with what, didn't you? Do we invoke or do we do we Just heal or do we send? I'm not even kidding. I'm doing that. Why would I be kidding? You know. We need arm at the front lines now, don't we? I'll do my best. I can handle it. We're gonna watch out for our people in the future, but we also have. A heal here. Thank you. So that'll work out. That's the other thing as well. We actually have the uh, the big party heal. Forgot about that. That's going to counter a people pretty well, isn't it? I'm not quite sure what that really entails, being like me one day, but uh, you keep trying. Right, I'm wondering if I should bring Forsyth up to here and let this guy ping an arrow at him. If that is Jeddah's range, I'm wondering if I can send someone like Claire to get an assassination. Either that, or we start doing some warp pie jinx with arm. But we still got to figure out how to take out Jeddah, who can counter now at any range with his death spell, which is an MT of ridiculous. He can't double, sure, but it means he'll be near killing someone every time, which means I got to keep the terror amounts down. I could try warp rescuing and taking out some of the back lines, but again, that's a risk. But for now, we should just bring up our troops. This is the guy we really gotta watch out for. How much damage does these guys do? 28. I get doubled back though. Only Leon had like the definite ridiculousness. Alright, Leon can attack that one. That guy can attack to Leon though. 
I'm thinking about it, Leon should be able to attack that guy from this spot here. But then that puts him in range of the other archer. Mm-hmm. Didn't double. Does 28 to 12, so just 16 damage. 